In today's verses, at the end of Mark chapter 3, Jesus is teaching and word has got back to his family in another town who seem concerned about what they're hearing. They've come to see for themselves if what they've heard about Jesus is true. And when they get there, someone tells Jesus that his family have arrived. And he responds with a curious and quite rude sounding question. Who are my mother and brothers? I don't think Jesus is trying to disown his family. We see later on in the Gospels that he takes good care of them. But he's using this opportunity here to redefine family and religious community. He says, whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. Jesus defines the spiritual family of believers in God. And it's a definition that still applies to us today. As Christians, we're part of a big spiritual family. I don't know about you, but during the pandemic, I've really benefited from my spiritual family. I've known that there are others out there praying for me, encouraging one another, and all working for the well-being and good of one another. It's honestly one of the best things about being a Christian, being in community with people who look out for one another, share the same beliefs, and who can be relied upon in the same way that a biological family can. Through these verses, defining a new kind of family, Jesus gives us one of the greatest gifts imaginable. So let's make sure that we take full advantage of it.